Hi, my name is Kweku Mensa. Born Ghanaian, live in the Netherlands. I'm a guitarist, music producer, engineer, and songwriter. I've been to Sai Institute, that is School of Audio Engineering in Frankfurt one year in the 90s. And I've worked with most famous artists all in Ghana. And those are uh, Dr. Elda Mereku, Francis A.J., and Kweku Jesse. Uh, some of them, I played guitar on their songs and some also I produced, like Elda Mereku. I produced one of his songs. And uh, Kweku Jesse, we had a few gigs. And Francis A.J., I did some guitar works on his project back in the days in the UK. Well, to talk about a Pentecostal rhythms, um, we have so much to talk about, but I'll just give a little example, especially uh, when it comes to praises. We don't need much, and we need to stick to the root. Uh, I'm gonna give some sample about, uh, now I'm playing D. D. Let's see. More yes, more. No, no, no. You have to keep the tempo not so fast to have the groove. So let's say more yes, more. One more, one more. We need all this in the music, you know. Just flow, flow. You don't need to play too many chords like this or taller. No, we don't need that. Just go straight. Yeah. So like more yes, more. These are things that we need in Pentecostal music. About the keyboards, I'll go back, but we're gonna have a commercial break and I'll come back. Follow us on social media Facebook, CNRJ Photography, YouTube, Charismatic, and Instagram, CNRJ Photography. Don't miss out on this powerful experience. Strings, strings, we need it. Worship, Pentecostal worship, you need the strings and some pad. Uh, Western worship, it's okay if you use the roots of um, EP, electric piano, it's okay. But our local worship, you need a string and some pad to feel the emotion in the music. So it's very important when it comes to worship, you lay down your pads and the strings and keep the level. Try and balance your levels. It's very important. Uh, before anything, you balance your sound. Also the, on the amplifier, try to get it clean so that everything will work together. So that's a little tip I want to give to the youth. Try and balance and keep the strings when it comes to worship. My final words for the youth, uh, as a producer, always try to limit your layers in the studio. When I'm talking about layers, uh, your pianos, etc., etc. Um, to become um, a great producer, sometimes you might need uh, guitar players or just live live musicians in the studio. Try as much as possible to limit your instruments comparing to a stage performance. To have a good sound, just think of being on stage compared it to produ production in the studio. So don't put too many things at a time. Try to limit it so that you have the same sound from the studio to the stage. Keep that in mind. It's very, very important to know what you are doing in the studio because whatever you are doing, it will be on the stage. So try to limit it so that everything will be intact. Thank you.